Hey there everyone, today we are at the Mama Yet yeah RV Park and Campground in Prince George, BC. Yeah, it's a really cool RV park. It almost feels a little bit like a provincial park or a state park. There's really nice trees everywhere and separation between the sites, but you've got full hookups, including 50 amp service and pull through sites. It's a rare find, you're gonna wanna see it. All right, so this campground is ideal for self-contained units. There aren't any shower houses or flush toilets on site, but every site has full hookups. So electric, water, and sewer hookups. And a lot of the sites are pull-through, so it's big rig friendly. One of their largest sites is 100 feet long. convenient things they have here is 24-7 self-registration and you can pay via PayPal or e-transfer. They have a little playground area for kids. We're here with Edward from Mama Ye Campground and we're very excited to be talking to you today, Edward. So tell me, what's the story behind the name of the park? When I decided to build this park, I need a name. So that's why I try to figure out how to get a good name and easy to remember. Right. And then all of a sudden, I have an idea. Mama Ye, the last Y-E-A, is my family name means Evergreen Leaf. It's and then my kids, my friends, they all call her Ye Mama. Maybe I can reverse it. I put Ye at last, like, yeah. a, like in English. And then Mama at the beginning, and then call her Mama Ye, not Ye Mama. <laughs> and then, this is a good name for my park. <laughs> yeah. I so I decided. <laughs> How did you come about just like owning a campground? I stopped many different RV parks and campground and the end up I had a dream. One day I may have a chance to build a new RV park. And then in 2006, I got a chance to purchase this property, 145 acres. 145 acres. Yeah, with the with, with the forest, just like uh, nature. Where did it go from there? What what were the challenges then after you had this beautiful property? Challenges never end. I'm sure the challenges come one by one. Still now, of course. Right. <laughs> Still now. What is step one for creating an RV park like this? The first one we need to be. A approved by government. Oh, okay. I sent application by end of 2006 and just within a month approved. Hey, that's great. And it's so quick. What's the first step for building that? I was hiring the tree fallers, right. professional one. He came and fold tree for me. Move, move them away sure. and then dump gravel. Second step, I start to build sewer line and water line. All the utilities, yeah, because that's a big job. Big job. I didn't know that. I had to purchase a small hole excavator. I thought the sewer line. So you did that? I did that. Cool. And then I dug nine feet deep for the sewer line. Nine feet? Yeah, and then the water line I dug every day just digging, digging, digging. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds Many like fun. hours. <laughs> and was the well already on the property? No, that's oh. a newly drilled. And then after that, I guess the electricity? I decided to put wire to put the power in later. So I, did you open the park without electricity? Yes. And the most very difficult time was during winter time, I have to continue to do the construction, especially for the water line and the sewer line. That was. Uh. Trying to build in the winter is Winters, difficult. Minus 10, minus 15, even sometimes minus 20. But I still insist I, I, I got to make it. Otherwise, my dream never come true. But I guess your dream was to build kind of a very different yes. RV park. So maybe tell us a little bit about how this park is so different from like your typical RV park. Mama Yen now looks like a, a provincial park. Lots of trees, a buffer zone in between the sides. Most of campers love it because mm -hmm. privacy. And the reason why I build this park, like provincial park, because when I traveled before, okay, I stopped at a provincial park in Banff, another national park. Yeah. They have a campground there. 
lots of uh, trees there. So that's why I have an image. I have a, oh. I have a picture in my mind when I decide to build this part, and then I like to build this because I have so many trees here. I don't want to cut them down. Yeah, and then the fact that you have that kind of setting with full hookups. Yes. Just tell me a little bit about like the the amenities and the hookups. For the pusher side, I put 50 amp power and 30 amp power plug in there. Yeah. So and the camper can choose if they come in with a, a medium size to a large size, but they just need 30 amp power. They can plug in. They don't need to use adapter. And that's what we did. That was really convenient. That's, yeah. And I I had seen the fifth wheel trailer. They told by a big truck and then after the trailer another boat behind <laughs> yeah. very long yeah and then that picture popped up in my mind so when I start to build it I want build as big as that and then the then the big big bridge they can come in with the boat no problem that yeah and we, we saw just the other day yeah there was like a huge motor home with a decent sized boat behind it yes and then I seen a very special I put a two screw hookup. I noticed that, yes, which you don't see very often. If I don't put the two, two screw hookup, and then that would be a problem if they don't have an extension pipe. Exactly. Edward put so much thought into the planning of this RV park, it's awesome. And in case you didn't know, it is a member of the Passport America network. But what does that mean? If you have a Passport America membership, you'll save 50% off every campground in their network. Sign up with our code ROAM3 and you'll get at least three months free. Okay, back to Jay and Edward. What other things about the location can you tell us? Within like a, a one hour drive, so you can go like a Cottonwood Park right beside uh, the Chaco River and the Fresh River. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Beautiful. Cool. And the, the other good place is about one hour drive, there is ancient forest. I have been mm. there many times. Yeah. I really enjoy it. Many lakes, many rivers, creek, yeah. everywhere. It's a nice place. Yeah. So much nature. That's I, what I like. Speaking of nature, what sort of wildlife could you find around this area? Uh, many uh, mule deers and then the moose, mm. not many as mule deer. Black bear, quite many. Yeah. But they don't come to the park because they don't they don't want to get too close to the people. Yeah, and then coyote. Sometimes maybe wolf. Yeah, will come. Yeah. yeah, especially in the winter, they come out to to hunt. Many grouse, grouse, yeah. grouse, and many different birds. Different like hummingbirds. Many, especially in in summertime, they come back. They fly back huh. from south. Yeah, many of them. Like us. <laughs> <laughs> So if someone would like to stay at your campground, what should they do? So they can call me or test me. If they arrive late, no problem. So they can come even after office hour, even after midnight. They can self-check in, or can fill out the phone, and then they can pay by cash or by credit card information, or they can even pay uh, through e-transfer mm -hmm. or PayPal. Great. Very flexible. and. Would you typically recommend a reservation? Yeah, they can they can book online. Mm -hmm. Okay, check my website www.mamaye.com. Well, thank you so much, Edward. Really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you very much for you uh, coming. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. And definitely check out their website listed below. Edward has been such an amazing host here at Mama Ye Campground. He's so accommodating, so friendly, he's always got a smile on his face. He's available, like able to help you if anything happens. And yeah, he's just, he's a great, great host. I would come back just to be able to visit with him. <laughs> <laughs> but also it's really, really rare find to find, no, bleh. It's a really, really rare fi, really, really, really. <laughs> Today we are at the Mama Yet yeah, RV Park Ground, RV Park Ground. A site available for yourself. And so, wait, now I'm like rambling and distracted. Perfect, okay. <laughs> we got it that time. That's a wrap. <laughs> Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.